Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Duke Silver and today we're playing uh, Potion Master in one of the uh, the more unique games that I feel like I've, uh, I've played recently. Um, but yeah, before we do that, I just have, uh, have to mention that I, I am running a giveaway, um, in, uh, to, to commemorate, uh, one year of daily Storybook Brawl uploads. Um, I'm giving away my 800 gem code that I got from the Summer Championships, as well as, uh, the, uh, the, the nice folks over at, uh, at Good Luck Games who, uh, produce Storybook Brawl, uh, saw my post and decided to add three super pan bundles to my giveaway. So a uh, huge thanks to them for that. That's that is awesome. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be doing the draw for the first super pan bundle as well as the 800 gem code on July 29th. And then the next, uh, the next two pa super pan bundles I'll be doing, um, one, one week after that draw and then the week after that draw. So August 5th and August 12th. Um, but yeah, all right, let's get, uh, let's get into this game. Uh, we're playing, playing Potion Master and, uh, and yeah, we've got a couple, uh, spells or characters that care about spells already, which is, uh, which is good. And we get the Cindy off nice and early. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take the great library card, which is, uh, it's kind of like the, uh, the centerpiece of this, this whole game, because it's going to. It's gonna basically make it so that we see three three spells, which is gonna kind of eliminate some characters. So it's kind of like a really, uh, in my mind, uh, very interesting uh, change to the game because uh, basically I'm just I'm relying on the utility of seeing so many spells um, rather than uh, hoping or t than uh, getting characters. If that makes sense. So yeah, we're gonna see we're gonna see less characters and more spells is what I'm trying to say, um, which is uh, which makes makes for like some interesting gameplay. It means that we're gonna see like a lot more um, a lot more like cantrips, as well as like we'll see more experience spells if we want to go that route. Um, more more combat spells if if that's something that uh, that I end up wanting. And because in potion potion master, all my spells that target things are gonna make them even bigger. So. The casting casting cantrips that target characters are going to be my priority, and yeah, and like I said, it's going to be uh, um, it's going to be interesting because uh, because we can't reliably get uh, treasures basically. So, um, and yeah, an another another th uh, benefit of getting all these spells is uh, we we're going to see more mix whistles and uh, uh, TLKs. Um, and yeah, which is gonna gonna help us like kind of get ahead of the lobby in that way, in that regard, just by uh, getting getting higher tier characters kind of faster. And here it's uh, it's pretty clear fancy pants. Um, Quiver is kind of good in mages because there's a bunch, there's a few uh, back row mages that you want. Um, there's also like Sporkos and Lady of the Lakes on four, but. Uh, because I've already got three characters that want to be in the back row, I'm going to take Fancy Pants. Uh, it's it's pretty good tempo over time as well. And uh, and yeah, it just fits, it fits uh, what my board is right now better. Creeper not that good on the board, but we tripled it just for the three, because if we, if we had seen a Crystal Ball, then things might have went crazy. But unfortunately, no such luck there. Getting the uh, the upgraded uh, vulture nice and early is has given us a pretty decent power spike. And yeah, getting getting Nutcracker with a fancy pants buff and the uh, the tree spell is uh, is pretty huge. Got yeah, 21, 21 toughness is like very very strong. It's gonna be able to tank at some at like a hit from. 90% of things people have at this point. Yeah, we get two two triggers there. Tie that fight. Yeah, definitely happy to just uh, put even more toughness on on this nutcracker. Again, we're seeing less characters, so being able to get treasures off of quest 
quest characters is uh, a good way to, to get treasures. The double kiss shop was really, uh, really tempting there, but we have too much gold to, to let it sit and there's nothing in the shop that I wanted to buy. And this is pretty tempting because there's a cantrip as well as there's a TLK. But the TLK is uh, like if I, I mean, it's it's really good on the vulture, but also I just, I want to see uh, what's in the next shops. I kind of want to pick up an Aeon even without crystal ball. It's just going to scale all my mages um, as I cast cantrips. Alright, we get the get the nutcracker treasure off. So um, these treasures are are pretty bad. So we're just gonna take Krampus Slay as we are pretty strong. We can finally we can get a, a Medusa with six power on it. That's always nice. I was briefly considering casting the Hermes Magic Beans, but it's not good to to lock up my spell slot early in the turn. Since I want to be casting cantrips, like the one here. Tempt tempting to cast, or to just buy this Medusa, but I kind of want to, if I'm going to buy another Medusa, I kind of want to get the Fancy Pants buff on it. Like, I could have cast this spell on it, but I wanted to see, see some more shops and see if we can uh, get some more free spells. So one benefit from uh, pumping up that Nutcracker so that it got its quest is it's a, just a, a very large character already at the moment. We get a very, very disappointing uh, Krampus Slay there, so we just skip it and take the extra gold, and we do buy the Aeon. Considering just uh, buying experience here and going to 6 next turn, but again i think it's just it's more worth it to just uh cast all the cantrips i can as i'm kind of rolling through the shops it's kind of it's kind of counterintuitive because generally like you want to be looking for characters whereas here i'm just uh i'm hoping to find just uh spells that i can cast uh multiple copies of Yeah, that was a pretty good kiss into the a very large Southern Siren. I'm gonna lock this uh this coin because it's free. Essentially, act, act, acts like a roll itself. So, while uh being a spell, of course. Yeah, um, you'd think like with this, uh, this strategy with basically just using this library card, like, you would think that I'd be weak at this point if, if I'm not really picking up a lot of characters and I'm just, just casting some spells, you'd think that I would not be nearly as strong as I am, so. Again, I, I feel like this is like one of the more unique games I played just because, yeah, just, just rolling, th rolling through shops and finding spells is... Is kind of different when you're not playing like crystal ball and whatnot. You're lit like I'm literally just playing tempo here. Although the the TLK into the uh, the sign of the storm is was very fortunate and played right into exactly what I want to be doing. So there's definitely some luck involved here. Although I think the rest of the board is like pretty just, um, just pretty average. Like I've only found uh, two spell weavers and uh, one Aeon and and uh, or tripled up one Wizards Familiar. So we only found one book so far this whole game. So who knows? Maybe maybe this is just a viable strategy. 
library card on Potion Master and just cast cantrips. Uh, I'm considering selling for the Evil Twin there just to triple up my uh, Spellweaver, but definitely, definitely think it's not worth it to do that. And at this point, yeah, we we want to be casting co combat spells. The rest of the lobby is very low. Like we're at 37, and everyone else is below 10. So, like, we definitely want to just finish the game here before anyone can uh can put together something that's better than what we're doing, which is probably not incredibly difficult. A decent uh, good boy comp or or a tree comp would probably shut us down pretty hard. Considering good boy there, but I've only got the one one good character or I've got the nutcracker and the good uh, spell weaver But that's it's not enough to pivot Even if being like casting spells on good boy would be like very good I'm still pretty happy to just take a uh, take monster books here um, Casting spells during combat is gonna obviously scale my characters, but also uh uh, the chance that it's going to hit like a combat spell, like a, a smite or a pigomorph, is is uh, is pretty decent and definitely like uh, increase our chances of winning a fight. This opponent is a uh, tree comp. Luckily, they haven't found uh, a burning tree yet. Otherwise, they'd probably probably be too big for us here. But we get we got a draw. Kind of hoping to. To finish them off there, but we we'll just have to find a way to improve. And and I do go for the uh, the, the evil twin there. Um, again, like I'm still still kind of hoping for a crystal ball. Like we've got the Aeon, which is like which is has some power on it. It's not not incredible, but and there we get uh, we get the second Medusa with the fancy pants buff. So. That's probably going to be uh, going to be necessary for us to win the lobby here. The uh, the Medusas uh, are going to help us scam our way into a victory. After our tempo has basically uh, fallen off now, now that everyone has caught up power level wise. Against the ghost, I'm going to play the monster books, of course, because I might as well get all the scaling I can. Get to triple up the monster book, but again, the treasures just like just aren't aren't good enough there to to, uh, to take. So, but but that means that uh, the monster book is definitely going to be staying in, as, as well as the uh, the Medusas here. That's a shop with two drink me potions and uh, can another can trip. Unfortunately, the uh, the shop full of spells isn't as generous and there's a pigomorph we're definitely going to be taking and yeah we're going to lock this cantrip as well for obvious reasons as i mean that's just what we've been doing this whole game so all right so we get a really good uh really good pigomorph hit uh really good medusa hit our Phoenix Feather gets wasted on their uh, their time flies there. They are gonna they have a crocked good boy, which is pretty big, but the other good boy goes right into our apple tree. And then we clean up the rest and and take them down for Xaxes. So yeah. Um yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Um if you if you haven't or please like and, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Uh yeah, so that was a that was a I would call that a pure tempo game. Basically, we just got ahead of everyone and and just uh, just knocked everyone out of the lobby, um, and then and then and then scammed the last opponent. So um, yeah, let let me know what you thought. Leave a comment. I respond to all comments and 
yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.